Hey, thanks for clicking on the video. Check out this walkway. I did it in about a day. About a day. Keep watching and I'll show you how I did. We're getting outside today. Okay, some basic tools. Big ticket item here is your tamper, play tamper. I rent, and it, it saves some money. You're looking at about 50 bucks a day for something like that. And it, you're going to need it. It just makes life so much easier. The rest is this basic tools. Um, you're really going to need a broom. Uh, and, you know, you know, shovel, level. I got some edging there. You know, knee pads, safety equipment, cutting bricks. Just that's all you need, and you know, hammer, extension cord. I got a mallet there. Uh, some of the stuff you can do without, but this is this is kind of just basics, you know. And of course, wheelbarrow things like that. Now, one of these things I don't show, or a lot of people don't show, is the material you take out. I had a big pile of material there, so you'll need a place to dispose it or a place to put of it. So you got to think about it. Here I'm res removing the sod. This is a step you can skip, but um, I I'm saving a little bit of sod, and you'll see at the end wh why I save it. But it, and maybe you don't want that mixed in with your loam, right? So, and then your layout. I, I did edge in a layout. It's super hard to see here, but I'm just showing. You know, we're, we're going from the deck to a, a door, which you can't see in the new garage here. But I'm just trying to just get the layout of your your pathway. You know, saw it at the beginning of the video, but get something that works for you, nice and flowing. And I'm excavating, and here I'm showing how much I'm excavating. What you how you excavate is up to you, but I'm going at sink or six inchometers, but. You know, you might want to check your local code. You might want to check with people you deal with. It. You, you, how, how are you going to use this? You need to put a gravel base in. The more, the better. But you can visually see how much I'm putting in. And I showed my edger there. Just uh, a nice tool just to get a clean line. And you got to dig. Dig, dig, dig. There's nothing. There's no easy way to do this. You know, this is a yard. You can't really fit a machine in you know and uh it's not bad but it's a it's a digging dig 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 and just get that material out of there and you can you know you could add it to an uh, another garden you're doing or you can you're gonna have to remove it from site somehow and that's really the big thing and then place your bricks down right on the dirt yeah, nice and make them right up to the line. Make sure they're right side up and they're clean on the top. And that's how we do it. Nice, eh? Hey? Just kidding. You don't put them on the dirt. So the, the width you're excavating, you know, is something you're going to want to go over. So I'm using a row of six bricks, 28-inch arenos. So it, it's about there. And then you got to consider your edging and how you put your edging in. So you got to get an, enough, excavate wide enough to get your edging in as well as your bricks. And you, you may have noticed there was two different kinds of edging there. So you, you have to consider that. It, it, it's just different styles. It's just what I had for the site. So, and we'll go, I'm showing you the different kinds. This is the kind I prefer, this metal, but it's not available everywhere. So typically the edging would go in like that with the brick, but you can, there's nothing wrong. I mean, I'm sure people will say I'm wrong, but there's nothing wrong with putting it in this way. Bef you know, putting it on before you put your brick in. And the same with this plastic. This is a, the metal is flexible, it's good for curves. The plastic is more rigid. And it's really meant for the straight. 
this style of plastic anyway. And the brick can go right on top of this plastic. No, it can't go on top of every plastic. And I'll show you, or I should be showing you here. Yeah, grab it. And yeah, just look how it's made. Like there's nothing stopping the brick from going on top of there. That, that's, that's how it's made. And everything is excavated. It's all dug out. This is kind of how you want it to look. Your base. Gravel base. This is, this is a crush rock, so sand and gravel base. It's what of it's available to me. Is it the best material you can use? It's the best that's available to me. Um, there's something called stone dust. There's limestone. There's any amount of things that pack. You just use what you can. You, you, the rock has to have some fracture to it. It has to be able to pack. If it's round rock, it will not pack. And I skipped a bunch of video. I lost some video. So I don't show packing, but... How are you going to pack it? You can pack it with a brick. You can pack it with your feet. You can pack it with a board. But you're going to need... The best is mechanical compaction. And you can see how packed this is. And that plate tamper does the trick. And of course, I missed the footage. So packing it, getting it level. So spikes for the edging, and then I'm just going to show you how I level it. So um, a lot of people say, and by the book, they tell you to use an inch of sand under your brick. I don't. I use the minimal, minimal amount of sand I can get away with. I, I get the, the, the gravel, the crush, as packed as I can, and just a skim coat of sand. And the reason being is if it, if, you, if it is subject to a lot of water, the sand will be less less prone to walk uh, to wash away. And then just so whether you have an inch of sand or just a little bit of sand, like me, some guy steps on it, you can just screet, I think is the term, the sand smooth. And, you know, a walkway like this, you want it landscape grade. So the height of the the brick is at the same height as the, the grass. So you can see it's down a bit. And then the pattern here I'm showing, you, you know, for this type of walkway, you want a nice linear pathway, something that can, you know, follow. You, you can use, like, a herringbone pattern, but, man, it's going to be a lot tougher. And I think it's going to look worse. And then I'm showing the gaps. You don't want gaps lining up. Like a couple close like that is okay. But if you had a line that went all the way through all six rows, you'd want to random up, you know, switch up your pattern a little bit. Because, you know, just because your pattern switches, it might be noticeable, but a line all the way through is way more noticeable. And this, you know, you just put it together. I have a pattern in mind. But you're trying to make it look randomly unrandom. I hope that's not my butt crack. Oh boy. I might have to censor this. But I didn't speed this up at all. Like, this is how fast I work. I know it's. But it's amazing. You can kind of see I got, you know, like a, a 3 2 1, like big brick, big, medium, small. And then I go big, medium, small, medium, small, uh, <laughs> big, medium, small, big, medium, then big, medium, small. But I mean, use a pattern that works for you. This is uh, the bricks were supplied to me. So I just used, I kind of uh, used what I could. And then when I'm done, the edging, you put your final edging on. So, so I worked out to this edging, if that makes sense. And I'm using a big spike, I think this is your 8 inch, um, about every foot, every foot and a half is good. You don't have to put in one in every hole. And there we are, finished, well, it's not finished product, but all the uh, full bricks are in. So when you come to the end, you're going to need cuts. It's possible to do this without cutting a brick, 
but you, it would really take a lot of planning. And then, of course, if you're building like a perfect patio that's just square, you, you probably don't have to need cuts, but uh, the customer wanted that to kind of flare out at the end, so we're going to have to do some pie cuts or some wedge cuts. I was trying to show it was flush with the garage, and then a big hunk of sandstone here, it's flush with that. And this is how I measure and cut. So, as a professional landscaper, you never want to really pick up a tape measure or a level. And if you do, you're using it for something else. But maybe a scratch your body part. But just you know, transfer that line. There we go, I got out a level. But this is the only way I know how to use a level. I don't know if there's another way. Screeding. Of course. So get the line on there. And th it's a very effective way to cut. And this is actually a skill. Uh, once you learn this, it's something you kind of never forget. So for the price of a $10 cold chisel and a sledge, you, know, you don't have to use a sledge out here either. I'm just showing off. Get, keep your fingers in. Don't keep them out. Keep them nice and tucked in. Ask me how I know that. And then uh, you scribe all the way around. Four sides. I'm, I'm not hitting this hard either. This is. These are old man hits. Keep scoring it. Keep scoring it. You'll, you'll go. This is not fast, but it's not slow either. It doesn't take as long as you think. Keep scoring it, and you will wind up with a cut brick. Okay, and, uh, just to and you can show off to all your friends how you uh, get in line cut a brick just with that chisel. Bing. That's it. And I like this technique because the rough edge matches the cobble. Of course, it's not going to fit, right? But... Take that sucker out first. Drop it in. I like that rough edge rather than the smooth. It's just me. Now you got a line like this. Ugh, you can try it, but sometimes you got to kick it up a notch. Circular saw with a masonry blade. Most people are going to have a circular saw. You can rent a big saw for this, but you know. I only had half a dozen cuts on this job, so those blades aren't expensive. And uh, in a lot of ways with a small saw, you have a little more control. It's dusty. Good thing we're working outside. Now, I say this was a one-day job, but kind of, sort of. Uh, with these cuts, I saved it for the second day. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, you can see the when you curve, you wind up with these pie shapes. Now, this is the way it's supposed to be. Some people will tell you this looks bad. That's how it's supposed to be with the when you wedge it. You don't cut your bricks in a wedge. I, th I think it looks way worse, but, you know, to each his own. So, sand the joints. And make sure all those kind of wedge parts are lined up is what I was showing. So sand, sand. So fill the joints up with sand. Just keep working it in. Working it in. Just like that. All the joints should be filled with sand. And a little bit of sand on the top. Two. And this is where your plate tamper will come in. Now, you, again, you don't absolutely 100% need the plate tamper here. It can be done, but it's a lot more work. To rent this, that's money well spent. Stay off the edges. Start in the middle. And when you get to the very end, you can, you know, once you're done tamping and everything's good in place, you can start moving your plate tamper toward the edge. But don't go too much to the edge. At, right at the beginning. You don't want those bricks to move too much. But. And, then, and yeah, so to tamp it, sweep it, tamp it, sweep it. Um, I'd recommend four or five times at least. But you do it so it's not taking any more sand in. 
And this is about what you're left with. Now, the, the walkway's done. The walkway, patio, whatever you're going to build is done at this point. But is the job done? No, it's, the job is not done. Is an unfinished edge here. So we say complete the walkway, and we mean complete the walkway. So those edges need to be filled in. So some of that loam you dug out and leaves. The eagle eyed viewer the eagle eyed viewer will see it's actually snowing. It's the end of the year here. So the patio is like super wet. It's not great conditions, but then that's done. I mean that part of the yard is still under construction, but this part this kind of half you want to get it good. So some some of those pieces of sod we I cut out, just cut them back in. Fortunately, it's raining, so it'll get, it'll get nice and wet. And that's it. Job done. Thanks for watching.